Hey there guys, it's Kim George here from YourSheetGeek.com and I want to welcome you to another quick video tutorial on how to create YouTube thumbnail art for your videos. Um, this is one of the videos that uh, have been highly requested and it's a question that I get asked often. So I figured it was time to make a quick video for you guys to show you how to do this with none other than my favorite DIY design tool and that is Canva.com. Huh. Now I am using Canva Pro, which is the uh, paid version of Canva where you pay $12.95 a month and you get access to different features like different um, animations, different graphics, and you know some other stuff. Uh, the Magic Resize tool, it's just a lot of different things that you can do with the Pro account versus a free account. But everything that I'm showing you today, you can do with either a free or a pro account. And um, Canva makes it easy to get her done. So that's what we're going to be discussing today. So the first thing that of course you want to do is log into your Canva account. And once you log in guys, all you need to do is go into the search bar here where it says search Canva and just type in YouTube. Okay. And once you type that in, you're going to start seeing some options pop up. Um, so one thing, uh, one of the suggestions is YouTube channel art, which that's not what we're looking for. You want to come down to the section that says YouTube thumbnail, because this is going to be, again, the thumbnail that goes on your videos. So you want to click on that. And then once you click YouTube thumbnail, it's going to start bringing up all kinds of different thumbnail pictures that you can use to present your videos um, on YouTube. And as you can see here, they have some really, really nice thumbnail graphics here. Very creative stuff. Um, you know, all you need to do is essentially just add your pictures and you're good to go. So for example, here's one right here that looks really, really cute. Um, so if I wanted to use this as a thumbnail for my YouTube videos, all I would do is click on this, okay, to select this template. And then the first thing that I would do is, of course, I would go up here to the top and I would rename this template to, you know, uh, your chic geek thumbnail. I just do your chic geek YouTube thumbnail. Okay. And that's going to be it. Then as you can see in here, um, it has some different little cute colors and stuff like that. I don't really like any of not the colors aren't bad, but these aren't any of the colors that I use in my branding. So what I would want to do here is take, an, take the time to start switching some of these colors out and using my own branding. Now, since I have um, since I have YouTube, I'm not YouTube guys, <laughs> since I have Canva Pro, I get access to a brand kit, which is where they show me all of the colors that I use in my brand. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and choose color scheme number two, because this is another color scheme that I do like to apply to my graphics because, because it's kind of close to some of the other colors in my main uh, branding. So I'm going to use some of these colors and just apply them to the graphics. So I do kind of have this pinkish color in here. That's a darker pink. I do kind of have a yellowish color. So I'm going to select this and use that color yellow. I'm going to put that to the same color. I'm going to change this to the pink and then I'm going to change this to the blue that I use in my branding. Okay. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change, of course, this title. So maybe if I'm doing a video on how to create YouTube thumbnails, uh, uh, yeah, YouTube graphics or graphics for your thumbnails, then what I can do is do, you know, your chic geek presents. And then what I would do here is I'm going to change this font because this is not one of the fonts that I use in my branding. So to keep things consistent, I'm going to use this font here. That is the font that I have been using. And then I'm going to change the text here to say, you know, how to create YouTube cover art. OK, and then I can highlight the text and I can go here. And instead of using uh, this text that they have here, I'm going to use Poppins Bold because this is, again, a um, font that I use in my own branding. And then the last thing that I have to do here, guys, is all I need to do is just replace this picture with my own picture. So I'm going to go to the trash can button to do a delete. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to elements and I'm going to go down to. You can do one of two things. You can do a frame or you can do a grid. I'm just going to go ahead and pop a grid over here and then I'm going to drag this grid on over. Okay to this side 
and this is where I can add a picture of myself okay all right and so then I'm gonna go to uploads and actually I can just search Kim and this is gonna pop up some of the pictures that I've taken and I can go in here and start adding some of my pictures now what I would, would suggest for you guys um, you can do one of two things you can add a picture that kind of has like a background kind of going to it with the graphic I think that looks okay but if I really wanted to fancy schmancy this up and kind of add a picture um, that doesn't have a, that has a transparent background where it's just a picture of myself I would suggest that you guys all do that at some point is to get a picture of yourself you can go to a place like fiverr.com and you can have them remove any kind of background um, uh, anything that you have in the background of your picture to create a transparent picture so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this grid off of here and instead of using a grid I'm just going to add this transparent picture of myself so you see what I did there and that's pretty much it now once I'm done with this picture and I'm good with the title and all of that kinds of stuff then I'm gonna go ahead and maybe I can think about you know maybe you would want to see so you can add some effects to this if you wanted to do something like that or you can keep it the same and then maybe you can just change the colors of one of the of some of the fonts in here that looks really cute and so on and so forth so there's a lot of different things that you can do but I actually do like this as a YouTube thumbnail cover it stands out the fonts are easy to read that's something I've had to learn with doing my videos you want a font that's really easy to read and so I think I'm done with this now once you're ready to print out or to download your graphic or your thumbnail on um, your YouTube cover art you want to make sure that you go to download and you want to make sure that you download this as a PNG okay so I'm gonna go ahead and click download to download this as a PNG file and then I'm gonna show you guys really quickly how to upload this as your cover art on YouTube so now I'm gonna pop over and go to my YouTube account okay and I should have had this pulled up so that's okay it's all good okay so where it says where this little uh, icon is right here that says create I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna do upload video okay now when I get here I'm just gonna go ahead and select a file um, from some of the videos that I've already created previously I think I have some let's see here I think I should have one of my downloads because I have been creating some videos okay here's one so this is a Facebook promo that I've created, but that's fine. I'm just using it as an example. So this is where you would go to upload your videos, guys. And then where you want, what you want to do is you want to scroll down to the section that says thumbnail, and then you want to click upload thumbnail. So I'm going to click upload thumbnail, and then this is where I want to click the image that I just downloaded from Canva, and I'm going to click upload. So there, that's how it looks, okay? And so then you can just click next, next, and next. Um, once you fill out everything for your video and all that kinds of stuff and this is what people are going to see when they see this video so let me just go ahead and go through this real quick I'm gonna do next um, let's see yes nope it's not made for kids and I'm just gonna click I'm gonna do unlisted because this is just a demo and then I'm gonna click save okay okay so when people click on this this is what they're gonna see They're going to basically see this thumbnail and again the reason that you want to make sure that you're creating attractive thumbnails is because you want something that's going to stand out in the youtube feed as people are searching for different videos and they happen to come across your video um i actually do like this cover art but again i just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to create awesome thumbnail cover art uh, with canva so um, if you're not satisfied with that template, then you can go back through and you can continue to look until you find something that really fits you and your brand. So for example, if you are a, um, if you have some kind of a fitness channel, this is a great one to use. Um, you know, if you want to do uh, something else, um, I think this one is a nice one to use where again, you can just kind of add your picture in here. Um, there's a lot of different ones in here to use. This is another one that I think is really cool. Where you can you see how they did this you can just delete that and add your own picture here so I can just click upload and then I can just add my picture over to the side this is why I say that you do need a picture that has um, no background on it okay 
Okay, so but that pretty much concludes the video tutorial, guys, on how to create YouTube cover art. I hope you enjoyed this quick video tutorial. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to get tips for you know more DIY design, uh, visual design, branding, and tech trainings and things like that i would highly encourage you guys to check out the blazing branding academy there's over 20 plus videos i'm going to be adding some more content and things to it um, that you can go there to learn more about you know digital marketing branding tech and all kinds of stuff so thank you guys for checking out this quick video i hope you guys have a great day stay safe out there and i'll be publishing some more content soon okay cheers and thanks guys